Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we're continuing our coverage of the ongoing civil war taking place inside of the former state of uh, Ethiopia, and we are continuing our coverage on the uh, ongoing troop buildup uh, of the uh, B loyalist forces that are taking place just south of uh, the most southern, the most uh, southeastern point of uh, the Tigray region, just south of uh, Alamata within the vicinity of uh, Kobo. And obviously you can see that clearly on our, on our map as we uh, scroll in, where you can physically see, you the viewer can physically see kind of what we're looking at and what we are talking about. So obviously uh, this could be a main avenue of advance uh, by the B loyalist forces into the Tigray region uh, if uh, this was a uh, an offensive type of strike force designed to enter the Tigray region. Now, from video evidence that we are receiving and observing, uh, it's difficult to uh, ascertain if, in fact, that is what we are looking at in terms of an offensive type of strike package uh, being uh, constructed within the vicinity of Kobo. Uh, now, on the surface, it does not appear to be that. Uh, what we're seeing moving into Kobo are dozens of very large buses uh, containing uh, light infantry personnel. Uh, again, we are not seeing large mechanized forces. Now, with that being said, the uh, the uh, B loyalist formation formations, while they do possess tanks and armored infantry fighting vehicles, many of those tanks and armored infantry fighting vehicles have, in fact, been destroyed over the past year by the Tigrayan Defense Forces, by the uh, elements of the Oromo Liberation Army, and just natural wear and tear uh, on the vehicles and the inability to, to uh, conduct proper upkeep on some of these vehicles. Now, again, what we're seeing, again, is large uh, infantry formations being deployed with, within the vicinity of Kobo. That's not to say that these units could not be uh, forward deployed and then at, at some point uh, be joined by uh, uh, higher end mechanized formations that still exist uh, within the uh, B loyalist uh, formations. That does, again, that does not look like what this is. This looks more like uh, what you would see uh, for a possible defensive operation within the vicinity of, uh, of Kobo. And the reason we think the, uh, the B loyalists are starting to deploy forces uh, near Kobo is that uh, the forces that exist there now or have exists uh, within the uh, southern area of operations just south of the Tigray border uh, would, would have a very, very difficult time uh, resisting a very motivated uh, attack by the Tigrayan Defense Forces. Uh, as we know, the TDF could mobilize uh, very quickly 50 to 100,000 personnel uh, fairly quickly to uh, mount a, a fairly credible offensive operation or a renewed uh, credible offensive operation uh, just like uh, the one we had seen uh, several months ago that uh, that uh, came very close to toppling the regime of Abiy Ahmed. And obviously a lot of international pressure uh, in conjunction with a lot of military supplies such as drones and other uh, capabilities were, were, were handed over uh, to the Abiy loyalist forces uh, to prevent uh, a direct march by the Tigrayan defense forces uh, towards Addis Ababa. As we know, the uh, uh, the uh, Tigrayan defense forces were, were operating very close and past uh, Debre Burhan and, uh, and, and, and were in fact uh, meeting up with forces of the Oromo Liberation Army quite possibly uh, to march on uh, Addis Ababa, also known as Fin Fine. But, but again, due to international pressure, the uh, TDF uh, obviously withdrew from large areas of the, uh, the uh, Amhara region and, and Ethiopia proper back into the Tigray region. Uh, but again, if the, uh, the current ceasefire does not hold, this, this so-called humanitarian ceasefire uh, does not hold, and uh, the Tigray region deems it necessary to break the continued siege of the Tigray region, this, this anaconda strategy, 
Uh, what we believe right now is the B loyalist formations are, are attempting to shore up their defensive capacity uh, within the environments near Kobo. Uh, right now, uh, it would appear that because of ongoing efforts by the B loyalist formations to confront the Oromo Liberation Army, uh, those ENDF formations uh, that have existed near Kobo really have been in no uh, uh, really no abilities to uh, uh, resist the forces of the Tigrayan Defense Forces if they were to uh, maneuver into the northern Amhara region. But uh, that is why we believe uh, what we're seeing is happening in terms of this deployment of the. Uh, of the uh, ENDF, the B loyalist formations within the vicinity of Kobo. Watching this very, very closely, uh, quite possibly we, we could see uh, a renewed operation by the TDF at some point. And again, uh, we would suspect that one of those leading efforts, one of the, that, that leading echelon of attack uh, into the Amhara region would probably uh, be centered within the, the enviros very, very close to Kobo and uh, within in the area near Alamata. As again, there is a fairly sizable uh, formation of TDF located in the south-southeastern quadrant of the uh, Tigray region. But again, that's why we believe we're seeing this deployment of, uh, of a B loyalist forces near Kobo. But again, we will continue to monitor the situation and report as we continue to get information. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for joining us.